Hi everyone, today I felt like teaching how to make some low poly trees. It's really helpful for beginners to start modeling trees since you learn a lot of the basics and it's not too difficult. I also want to say that when this video is out, I will publish a free asset pack for Unity. The package will contain the trees shown on the screen. If you'd like, you can subscribe now and I will make an announcement when the pack is out on the Unity asset store. After you've downloaded the asset pack, you can go ahead and unsubscribe if you aren't interested in more tutorials from me. Thanks for listening and let's start making some trees. To start off by adding a plane, then you want to subdivide that plane and select the vertices in the middle. Then you can press Ctrl I and you inverse and then X and delete vertices. Then you just extrude. Do it like this. Then we want to add in a skin modifier. And with the skin modifier, you can change the scale by pressing Ctrl A. You can change it just like that. And it also works with proportional editing. So you can so you can do some cool stuff with it. And we want to extrude some more. And I think. This is good for the base. We can start adding some branches. And to get some nice branches, I usually subdivide in the middle. You can change it a bit and extrude. Just keep on extruding. And select the vertices and G to move around. And you get some, some nice branches. We can keep doing this for a while. I think that is fine. But I want to have this a bit longer, so we can press a V. And whoops, we just have to select the bottom and mark root. And now we can drag this out a bit. Select both vertices and press F. And there we go. It's usually a good idea to keep on duplicating the branches instead of making a new one every time. And I think that is fine. And select all these, rotate, and connect them. To have some variation. Maybe subdivide here. Something like that. Now we can go ahead and select both of these and Shift D and duplicate again. Bring this out a bit. You can also subdivide and connect. And you can see sometimes it's uh, hollow here, and you can fix that afterwards or just drag it around until. 
there's no empty faces. Fix that. Do a slight smaller branch. I think something like that is good. Now we can we can go ahead and duplicate that if we were to change our mind. And we can wait with applying. Add in a metaball. We can add a simple material. We can also add a material for the tree. Now I usually just put a ball on each branch and what a meta ball does is that it connects the meshes. So it's I'm gonna show you how to make it to an actual mesh uh, soon. But we can just go ahead and do that for now. The reason for adding a ball for each branch is to we don't have to worry about any branch sticking it out or having no leaves attached. So it's just it's really helpful. We can press here. Start adding some more variation to get some leaf. I think we want to connect these two and we want these two to be smaller branches. Or maybe maybe all three. Let's do all three. Let's select all these, drag up. It's really easy to just change. Just like that. And we can begin. Connecting all these. Now we want to just fill out this this void. You can press S Shift Z. To scale on all axes, make a couple of these bigger like that. Move up a bit. And a great tip is to have like the leaves on the outer edge to have those to have those to be lower than the center of the leaves. We can make some layers here. Do this. I'm realizing now that my voice is really <laughs> really bad <laughs> or my English at least. I can uh, when I'm speaking in I think it's easier to speak English when I have a script. So all the other videos I made, I have. The other videos I made, I have recorded my voice afterwards, and then I can cut out a bit, uh, a lot of mistakes. But I realize now that. I make a lot of mistakes and maybe it's just better to publish some crappier tutorials for someone to enjoy <laughs> and maybe in the future I, I'll i be better at speaking and hopefully I can help you improve. Uh, so 
I think this will look quite nice. It's pretty good to have some distinct uh, metaballs that you can see. And maybe can do this a little bit higher. Yes, place them as you see fit. And when we think we are done, we can select all the metaballs. And I usually just press spacebar to search, to convert to, and to mesh. You can go up to object, and you can go into, let's see, convert to, and mesh to metaball. And I usually like to shade flat. Go to face and shade flat. And after that, you can go ahead and add in a decimate modifier. Drag that down quite a bit. And apply that. And let's see. I think that looks quite nice. Maybe this. And since we didn't apply the skin modifier, we can edit it as we go. And it's pretty nice to be able to just edit however you see fit. Let's move it up here. We can export this and see how it looks in Unity. And I think it looks quite nice. And I think I think we're happy with that. And that's it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to pick up the free asset pack. The pack will contain the trees I showed in the beginning and the also the tree that we just created. If there isn't a link in the description then hit subscribe and I will announce when the asset pack has been accepted to the Unity S store. If there isn't a link to the asset pack in the description, then hit subscribe and I will announce when the asset pack has been accepted to Unity as a store. And then you can go ahead and grab it for free. I'm currently working on a large asset pack with a lot of trees, so you don't have to keep buying tree packs for games. If you aren't interested in buying trees, but it's interested in trading trees, it may be a good idea to check in in the channel once in a while to learn how to create your own trees. And that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.